Hello and welcome back again guys. So in this lecture, we, I'm gonna show you how you can clone your tree. Okay, so. And so first, I'm gonna get the, our tree in here. So that would be a tree main that measures one. Why one? not zero because the zero is the root and the one is our tree our mesh tree so we don't need the root since this is only one mesh in our uh, 3d model so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say tree dot parent dot dispose or i could say equals null you can also dispose the root part after unparenting our tree and then now you can create a clone of this tree so let's say tree clone is equals to tree that clone the name would be anything you want let's just say tree and this tree clone will be the position will be on a new vector tree let's just get a negative two so that will be in our right uh, the y position is zero because we don't want it above we just want it to be labeled in the ground and then maybe move it ahead by two again so save it let's check our scene as you can see we move it by left so it should be in here and we move it on the z-axis by 2 so it goes here so as you can see we made a clone but the, the question here are we gonna manually put them everywhere like this and then repeat it and repeat it uh, many times well, you can do that, but there is a easy, easy way. You can use a for loop, for var. That's the for i equals zero. I is not equal to three length. Then i plus plus. So let's gonna create a tree length in here. Oh, okay, so let's uh, maybe we can create 30 and we can also create a radius in here for our tree. So let's create a radius of how big is our ground again. Let's check how big our ground. So it's 50. So our radius is just 50 so let's create here 50 and then we are going to use a Babylon tool in here which is the scalar and you can you will see it in action in just a moment so we are going to create a random range or simply to say a random number between negative 50 and 50 why negative because we are having a negative x and a negative positive x a negative z and a positive z so in here this is zero in the center uh below the uh on the south side it's negative z and up until here is negative 50 and the same thing goes for each direction. In here is positive uh, z until there is positive 50. So we are going to create a random number which will start for the x will start in the negative 50 up until to negative positive 50 x direction. Same thing to z direction. And for the y, obviously it's going to be 0 because we are not pulling it above the ground so to do that we are going to create a random x number here 
are going to use the scalar random range okay so this one needs a minimum number which is the negative radius and up until two radius so it's gonna give us a negative 50 up until 50 random number and that's for our random x and this is for our random z okay so now same thing we are just going to control this uh con copy this and paste it in here so now you can put a random x in here and a random z just like that you can create a tree length of 30 so up until this i is not equal to 30 it will just generate a random number and then position a new clone into our scene so let's go here and let's check our camera is so slow let's let's uh, make this 10 now you have successfully placed a tree in your scene randomly so this is how you can create a random uh, 3d model to your scene it's going far maybe we can uh, we can minimize the radius by around 40 let's try and check it out oh i think it's the same thing Mm, 40 radius 50 our ground height is 50 so let's divide it by 2 okay perfect so it's just up until here it's the size of a the size of uh, the ground is not the same thing as the position and it's using a different uh, size in there so and we have a problem in here which is if we try Because we are not hitting something here. And let's go to 110. Okay, so if pick info that hit is equals to fall, if we don't hit something, then that's just gonna return. It won't go, it won't run the code below. Okay. So let's try that one more time press here no more error and for these trees we're just gonna set uh, oh no we're not gonna use a pickable poles for our trees because we need them to be selected later so we can our character can chop them and then reduce a as we're going to create a bar in there that it's taking damage okay so this section is done and we are going to proceed to our next section which is the life of our tree and making our character attack the trees the animations and the damaging logic okay so that's it for now guys i'm gonna see you in our next video goodbye for now